car two. We're currently descending down to 8,000. As you can see, we're passing flight level 187 at the moment. And uh, who knows if we'll make it in time. I did some calculations on what altitudes we're expected to be at the waypoints that we programmed in. Um, so now that we're turning, we are expected to be at 18,250 feet. So we've made it quite well. Our expected descent rate should be around 1,687.5 feet. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so about 1,700 feet per minute. Um, let's see, at our next waypoint, we're expected to be at 1,650.50. So we'll probably make that. Um, so we programmed everything we set to standby. We're already descending down. Um, we already set all of our systems before descent. We set our minimums. We uh, set our outer brake. We've done things. Uh, we already got ready for uh, ILS 109.9 here. Um, I already set my course on this side so I don't forget. So I hopefully don't forget on this side either. Okay. 16,550. Okay. And after that, waypoint 8. Oh, we already passed it. Going waypoint 9 now. Okay, we're a little... Okay. We're a little behind, um, looks like it. So we're going to waypoint 9. Just past waypoint 8, so we should have already been at 15,000 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and extend my speed race a little bit. Just a little bit. Because at waypoint 9 we're supposed to be at 11,500 feet. We only have one more minute, so... Yep, this is a good rate. I'm gonna go and preset my uh, heading to 320. Oh, looks like it's already there. Yep, it's already there. Nice. Um, 320, set. That's the heading we'll go into to um to um where we're gonna enter our ILS. Okay. Come on, we should have to be just a little bit lower here. You got this. Might hurt the ears a little bit, although we are not descending too fast. If we are descending fast, but the camera is doomed, fine. Okay, 11,000. Uh, Alright, at this one we should be at 8,000 feet. So, <laughs> and we need to start decelerating at 250 in a moment. Yeah, we might be a little behind now. Um, Alright, let's go and go full defense here. Okay, 250 knots. So we'll go directly to 24. 10,000 feet, landing lights coming on. Go and set the ILS already in here. Uh, 1099, 1099. Fine. Feel system make sure it's on and balanced. Okay, it looks balanced, it looks good. Auto system pressure and quantities are normal. All those frequency cores are set, altimeters are set, and, and approach checklist. Seatbelts are on, the anti ice is closed, landing lights are on, altimeters are set, cross your radio, altimeters are set, flight instruments are set, check, go around, EPR are set, VRS are set. Feels set for landing. Okay, go down to three. Hydraulic pressure and quantity normal, pressurization and cooling doors are set and are fully open. Circuit breakers are checked and sent, checklist is complete. So, where are we expected to be at? Okay, we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this back. At this waypoint, we're expected to be at 
3,000. So this is our final approach fix altitude. This is bomb. So we're going directly to four five. Looks like two four five bomb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go just regular and two four five, and I'm gonna go ahead and go back to bomb. Two five one. Capture the localizer. Okay, we do need more. Yeah, we need more drag. So, need a lot more drag. So we're good there. About ten miles out, which is how many minutes? Two, four, two. Uh, two minutes. Yeah, all right. So I'll go ahead and ex bring these back. Okay, quite turbulence. But, oh, geez, this might be a difficult approach. Whew. Okay. Um. See what we can do. Our. Okay, eight miles. All right, yeah, no, we'll help it out. Um, so I was struggling in this turbulence a little bit. Exenviro has been always reported for is really extreme winds and turbulence that's over the top. And now my frame rate is like at zero. Why? I think it's just loading the scenery. I think the scenery is really heavy on frame. Okay, there it goes. We're good. We're almost at 3,000. Count to 1,000 checked. Got one more minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, decrease it down. Okay. And I'm gonna okay, out to the arm. So as soon as we uh, reach this VOR. We're gonna turn right of heading 320, which we got here. We're gonna decrease our speed to 220 knots. Yep, thank you. I'm gonna go and set our. One more mile. got rain. Close to zero. Alright, heading. Select. So we'll go to heading. Three to zero. Now we're gonna set to, what was it? Two was it two three two? Two three two for our ILS, which we need to tune back. Thrust for below two two zero. We'll go ahead and stay at two. It's at flaps five. Okay, decrease thrust one more time. Now we're getting too fast here. And we're expected to do this for 5.8 DME bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this here. So I know. Okay, 
So flap 5 is checked and set. I think that's our output right there. Could be... Mm, yeah, I think so. But we do look kind of high. Five point eight, getting close. So I'm gonna go ahead and set heading here. Arm our localizer. So the heading of two seven zero actually. There it goes. Okay. And it's capturing it. Perfect. Okay, we're definitely too slow here. We'll go and set next flaps position 15. Grounds, glide slope is alive, about to get captured, so let's go increase our speed again. Our thrust rating here. Okay, horn is back in. Okay, we can go and arm our spoilers. And glide slope is captured. Decrease our thrust a little bit, and uh, we won't set gear down yet. Actually, no, we won't gear down. Lights can come on. See, that's fine. We're gonna go auto. Push auto. And our V ref speed was uh, one two eight, so it's one. Three, three, right there. So increase our thrust, or decrease our thrust. Sorry. Go and set flaps twenty, twenty-five, and thirty. Oop. And increase our thrust some more. Landing checklist. And it's good. Five releases. Okay. Ignition on, no smoking is on. Gears down and three green. Flaps. 30 green lights. Hydraulic pressure and quantities are normal. Landing checklist is completed. Okay. Everything is stable. Flaps are set. Alright, and here we go. We gotta remember this is runway two eight two three left, so left runway, not right runway, and it's right there. It's good. We'll go in for simulation purposes. We'll go ahead and uh, turn on our <laughs> okay, we're going down on the speed a little bit. So let's go increase the thrust. Checked. Crazy weather, let me tell you. But beautiful aircraft, so I'm happy. Okay, foot feet are on the uh, pedals. Speed is looking good. Flaps are set. We're good. Lights are all good. Make sure I don't forget anything. No, nope, we're good to go. Go around to 3,000 is fine. Okay, we're a little bit high apparently. We're still on the glide. Flares are armed. You're good reach uh, 500. I'm going to go and disengage the autopilot. There's no push button here, no. Okay, autopilot 
disengaged. And it's my airplane, I have control, everything is looking good and stable. Oh god, this is going to be really compli uh, difficult. I can already... oh. Reversers uh, idle and stowed. Okay, let's go ahead and exit here. Right, I'm sure it's annoying to most of you guys now, so turn it off and park it. So let's go ahead and slow down here. We're going to stop here and clean up a little bit. Okay. Okay, parking brake off. So lights, strobe, taxi, when we turn off, all this comes off. Strobe lights can come off. Spoilers. Go ahead and... I mean, you can just simply advanced thrust overs and they should there you go flaps coming up auto brake can go ahead and disarm be disarmed I'm curious I was hoping the radar picked this up is it picking it up? it's not really picking it up in detail there it is a little bit five I guess an X and viral still doesn't work very well. Anyways, okay, okay. So, <laughs> window heat. It's gonna because it's the last flight of the day. We're gonna go turn it off now. Probe heat as well off. Whether it would actually come off. Atlas frequency. Go and get rid of it. Radar comes off. Transponder, go and set to standby. Stab trim, go and set zero units. This is, might take a while, see if this helps. Yep, okay. Zero units. Drive pressure, make sure it's checked. And it is. Light, ground mode, and back to auto. AC meter set to APU. And with that, go and turn the galley power off. AC meter battery. Fuel pumps on, one per tank. Ground interconnect open. APU start. On, close, start, AP crank on, it's on the go. And we'll just wait for that. And as we wait for that, we can go and clean up some other things here. So we'll go and set this off. I do want to check the weather radar. I do want to see if it's picking this up, but I feel like it's not going to. What if I set it at zero? How much will you pick up? Oh. What? Two. Okay, so it's picking up the rain. Twenty. 
APU is it started. AC meters are looking good. Okay, so fuel tie coming on. APU to the source. Bleeds open. And after landing checklist. Ignition is off, window heat is off, anti ice is closed, pitot heat is off, flats are up and no lights, radar and transmitter are standby off, speed brake is the 10th, stabilizer trim, zero units, DME is standby, galley power is off, fuel pumps one per pump per engine. Here you can see the weather. Okay. Upflow valve is fully open. Check that. Air conditioning is set. Use on bus and after takeoff or after landing checklist is completed. So let's go ahead and taxi to our gate. Alright, so let's go and go to our gate. Um, I'm just going to choose any gate here. We're probably going to go to the stand right here. Um, we'll try to go through that stand and go to the gate. passing through. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got a little lucky there. Mm -hmm. We'll go right here to the gate. Might as well. Move in. So tax lights now come off for parking so we don't blind the people. Park brake on. Power sources checked. Lead panels all set and required as required. So, fuel control let switches can be cut off. Beacon off. Anti ice is closed. Seatbelt signs can come off. DC meter back to central TR. Fuel pumps all off except for the one required for the APU. Oops. Seatbelt off, beacon off, exterior lights set as required, start levers are cut off, parking brake is released. Electrical APU, fuel is off, hydraulic system, B pumps are off, because we're not flying back. If you were to fly back, you'd keep them on the same ground interconnect. After air stairs, we can go ahead and uh, extend them. And there they go. Air conditioning for these open packs are set. Oxygen regulators are off 100%, so down check is, is complete. And terminating. Packs coming off. Emergency isolates off. 
I'll make sure everything else is as it should be. And once that is complete, this can come off. Battery out, and with that, the APU should also shut down and turn it off. Exterior lights, navigation lights come off, and the securing checklist or the term terminating checklist. Windshield lights, lights off, oxygen valve closed, APU off, battery off, and shutdown checklist is completed. So that concludes this entire flight with the 727 200 from Flight Sim version 3. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any other suggestions, please let me know. And until next time.